What's up guys, my name's Brandon and Apple has just released the first public beta for iOS 18. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the beta on your iPhone or iPad for free and what to expect from it. And if you currently have the developer beta installed on your device, I would consider switching over to the public beta and I'll explain why and how to do that later in this video. Now, as far as compatibility goes, if your device can run iOS 17, it can also run iOS 18, so that includes the iPhone SE, the iPhone XR, XS, anything that can run iOS 17 can also run iOS 18 and the public beta. Now, as far as iPadOS 18, it's compatible with most iPads that could run iPadOS 17, but not all. And you can see the compatible iPads right here. Okay, so now let's talk about how to install iOS 18 public beta on your iPhone or your iPad. So the first thing you want to do is go into Safari. And from here, you want to navigate to beta apple.com and that's going to take you to apple's public beta section on their website where you can enroll your device in your apple account so it's going to say apple beta software program you can scroll down you can learn more about ios 18 mac os sequoia but the main thing you want to look for here is the blue sign up button you want to press on that blue sign up button and from here you will need to log in to your apple account so you might need to put in your face id or passcode and you might have some different terms and agreements that you have to agree to but eventually you will get to this page where it just says guide for beta software and what this does is it basically just tells you how everything works so i'm going to run through this very quickly as well since it is a little bit better to understand instead of reading the text so first off the first thing you want to do before installing the software in general is go into your iCloud section in settings and actually I'm going to show this on my iOS 17 device instead of my iOS 18 device so you want to go into your iCloud go to the iCloud section and then from here you want to go down to iCloud backup and from here you want to make sure you do backup now unless you see that your last backup was from the current day that you're trying to install this beta you just want to have everything as up to date as possible in case anything goes wrong and you need to recover your data from a backup so definitely make sure you do an iCloud backup right before you install the iOS 18 public beta. And of course, this update will also require quite a bit of storage space. So you want to go into your settings, general, and then into iPhone storage and ensure that you have at least probably 10 gigabytes of you know storage remaining. So preferably more, but I would say that would be the minimum to ensure nothing goes wrong. Okay, so now that you've enrolled your Apple account, you've backed up your device and you've made sure that you have at least 10 gigabytes of storage free, you need to go into your settings settings, general software updates. And then from here, you'll have a new section that says beta updates. You want to go into here and you want to select iOS 18 public beta. So once you select that, you just go back and you will see the iOS 18 beta populates right here. So it is 3.09 gigabytes coming from iOS 17. So now that you have the iOS 18 public beta currently installing, we need to talk about a few things that you need to be aware of. So number one, just know that there will be bugs. This is still a beta. Just because it's a public beta does not mean there are not going to be any bugs. There are not going to be any app crashes or anything like that because those are going going to happen. So what you need to do, what your job is as a beta tester is to submit feedback in the feedback application. So you're going to have the feedback app downloaded on your device. It's going to be installed on your home screen after you install the public beta. And in here is where you can go to submit your feedback, any bugs, issues that you have, and Apple will report back and hopefully fix those. And something else you need to be aware of is that the battery life is going to be much worse than it was on iOS 17. So anytime we have a beta software, the battery life is not going to be the best. So, you know, if you're going on a long road trip or something where you don't typically need to pack a charger to, you know, charge up your device, you might want to consider that when you're running the iOS 18 public beta. And then as far as some of the standout features that you'll probably want to try right away with iOS 18 are number one, the control center. So you can see we have a much different looking control center and it's completely customizable now. So if you tap and hold right here, you can go to add control or or you don't even have to go into jiggle mode, you'll see we now have a plus up on the top left, along with a quick way to shut down your device. If you tap on that, you will be able to add control and you can change and add these controls just like you could on like the you know home screen, for example, when you can move applications around, you can move these around, you can change the size, kind of like widgets here in the control center, which is really nice. And you also have a separate section for your music, your home kit, and your connectivity 
right here. So that's really nice to have in the control center. Also, we can see that we have the dark icons now. So if you tap and hold on the home screen and go to edit up in the top left, we now have a customize button. And from here, you're able to change the icon color, the kind of theme of it. So it can be automatic, dark, light, or tinted. So you can also tint the color of these icons. If you really want it to match with your wallpaper, you can do that right there. I think the dark icons look the best. You could also lighten or darken your background wallpaper. You could also choose to have large app icons, which will remove the app, you know, uh, label underneath, which looks pretty cool, but I like having the small icons there. So that's something new that you can look forward to with iOS 18 as well we also have rcs support so if you like to text with android users you will have a much better experience in the messages application also there's a new feature where you can change by word the kind of effect that you have so if you only want a certain word to be you know having an effect when you send it to somebody you can now do that here so here's what that looks like when you send it to somebody via imessage only this has an animation right there, which is pretty neat. And of course we do have Genmoji and the AI features coming later this year. So we will see Apple intelligence, some of the features coming later this year, the new Siri 2.0 will not be here with iOS 18.0. That's going to come at some time in 2025, but some of the AI features will also be coming later. So that will be something to experience with the iOS 18 public beta. Now, if you want to see hundreds of other features in iOS 18, I've made several videos here on the channel and I will link some of my best ones down in the description below. If you want to see all of the features and changes you can take advantage of with this new iOS 18 public beta. I do also want to answer a couple of questions that I get a lot. So number one, what is the difference between the developer beta and the public beta? So this is a very simple explanation. The public beta is typically exactly the same as the developer beta. Like it has the same build number. So for instance, the iOS 18 developer beta three re-release has the same build number as the first iOS 18 public beta. So typically the developer beta and the public beta are exactly the same. The public beta just comes out after the developer beta. So basically public beta users will avoid any potential major issues that developer beta testers might have had to experience since Apple will have time to fix it by the time it releases for public beta testers. And then I also wanted to answer the question of should you switch from the developer beta to the public beta? And I would say that it just depends. So number one, I would say that if it's your main device, like if you have iOS 18 developer beta currently on your main device and you're maybe sick of the bugs and you don't really want to have to deal with bugs and apps crashing and things like that, then I would recommend going ahead and switching to the public beta. And if you want to switch, it's very easy. You just go into the beta update section and then you just choose, you change from iOS 18 developer beta to iOS 18 public beta, and then you wait for the next round of betas to come and you will get the public beta from here on out. So if you don't wanna have to deal with any potential catastrophic bugs, which we have seen before, if you don't wanna have to deal with those on your main device, I would recommend switching over to the public beta. However, if you've already been beta testing on iOS 18 and you've had no regrets or any like major issues, and if you did have an issue, you would know how to navigate around those bugs or issues, then sure, stay on the developer beta there's really nothing wrong with it at this point in time. You are just going to have, you know, the risk of those more severe bugs if they were to come. But if you know how to navigate around that, if you're not worried about that, then stay on the developer beta. That is perfectly fine. So that is how to install the iOS 18 public beta. And also if you should switch from developer beta to public beta or vice versa, if you want to switch from public beta to developer from here on out, you can do that as well. So hopefully this video helped answer some questions. If it did not, I would, you know, recommend commenting down below and I will do my best to get back to you down there in the comments section. So I'm going to go ahead and download iOS 18 public beta on my iPhone 15 plus here and I will go ahead and check out all those new features for myself on this device. But I hope this video helped you out. If it did, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 18 coverage. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.